Hello guys, welcome to Hearthstone. You know, this game is all about decks, you know, playing cards like Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know if you have played, but it is like a Yu-Gi-Oh game that every day daily you get a challenge like this, you know, Paladin or Warrior victory, Shaman or Warlock, Rogue or Warrior. So it is like they give you extra coins, but I don't know, I got like lots of coins, I can do ar arena, but it is not working that much. I mean, it is like for 3 lose, and I don't like it, I don't know, like, I just want to get some good rank in stuff. So, today we are going to do some quest log about Paladin, <laughs> because my main, <laughs> main deck is Paladin. So let's play it. This game, I will. To be honest, this is game from the desert, and it is open beta, I guess. And because I was joining the game in closed beta, so I don't know the what is it now. But I heard that it is open beta. I don't know if you can still join it. That's why I said I don't know. And the game is good. I'm a huge fan of the desert, and there is a little bug here, <laughs> as you can see. But this game is good. Like it is from Blizzard, and I am not a Blizzard. I mean, I am not a Blizzard, don't think me like I am not a Blizzard fan, but I am a huge fan of Blizzard. But I am not going to say that anything that makes the game much more better than usual. As you can see, there is like, we go for a coin like Tails to Head, and if the, the other one comes, you gain an extra card and you start the second. And for that, they will give you some three cards if you are first. You will have three cards, if you are not, you will have one. As you can see, there I got like, good cards to start like 2-2-1-1 two, two, one, one. so it is really good to start with it and if not if it is like you have like 5 or 7 you can change the 5 I mean because in each turn you will have one crystal and that one crystal is this is going to make you how to play it like it is 5 that you can have maximum 10, crystal, 10 crystals and that's how it works basically yes you just use crystals and crystals all the time and it and you go for the kill and as you can see it is started second it gives like gain one mana crystal this turn only so i am going to use it too and i am going to summon my hero use my hero power to summon a liquid and end my turn basically and is you if you then you can see that you can still <laughs> play with these all the areas that you have like let's get rid of that thing I don't like it <laughs> it is very funny that you can get rid of anything you want and everything you want so it is really funny and as you can see I am just doing all the things to buff my warrior there to my recruit I don't know that the card but it's a card game card based game like you uh, you just need to killed hit opponents like 30 damage and as you can see there are some battle cries that battle cries when you use the card it activates that ability like give a friendly give a friendly minion divine shield it just gives them friendly one it is very good it is really good and it is funny and he was able to kill all my minions with his card and as you can see it is overload this is like he he won't he can't be able to use that mana next turn so he just gave his like mana in order to get rid of my minions right now and shaman is a very good class because if he they are able to do anything kinda they are very good powerful and as you can see I got a consecration I am going to trade with this and let's see it is going good it will be a good challenge. I mean, if he, if he, he can. I sh if I am him, I will kill this on this. I don't know. It is like a seven to eight. Really? Oh my god! Just killing me right now. So, as you can see, I am giving my minion a divine shield that is protecting him to any damage from one turn, but. If you have a priest or something like that, you can just instant kill it with a card. It is Shadow World of Pain of World or something like that. I, because I'm not a huge fan of priest. Oh my god, he gave him Min Vin Fury. Damn. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, why he did that? It is so lame, you know? Really lame. I will just use this and destroy the half of them. Oh my god, it's so lame, for real. I mean, really? Ah, I wasn't able to rescue it any time, so... Next turn, I will hit him like 8 or 9. Because I am going to buff my minion over here. And he did a very big mistake about that. He shouldn't do that. I don't know, it is useless. It is really useless. As you can see, he summons a random card by his... And Paladin is all about buffs. In the... WoW, it is still all about buffs. I don't know, like... In WoW you need to have the certain number of... Stats in order to have them. Like, it is the same. Like, he just buffs it and heals it. It is like a survivability deck. But mainly, the things I have, it is like all... Attack, all offense. Because... You need to take care of everything. If he goes more, it is bad. But if it's not, it is good. I mean, it is too hard to say. The game changes very fast. So you need to be in that pace, pace in order to be very good. But when it comes to the other things in Paladin has, it is like a buffing class. So it is very good to play with it. The main on the only problem is if you are very late, the, the other player will kill you easily so you need to like have a charge mechanism and kill it at the start because you really need it to do that you really need to do that it is really necessary to have that I mean like as you can see he is just using some methods in order to neutralize me but it is working not that much but he, at least he was able to do something you know he is getting good at things the player is very good I don't know he is countering all the cards I have playing and the only the weakness of the paladin is if there is no cards on the battlefield the paladin can't do it can't do anything like less thing like that because all my uh, things are buffing them and reducing the health or increasing the health so I just need to take care of everything kind of and he is just making their cards oh my god really <sighs> He's a pain, for real. Just need to get rid of this card at the start, but I didn't think that it could be uh, that much pain, so it is all okay. Now I am going to give my minion this, and I will make it 5 to 5, and give him a protection, just kill this, and take get rid of that card. And as you can see, I, it says I can summon, but I couldn't, so whatever. Because it needs 7 and I have, as you can see the mana crystal is totally 10 And as you can see I think if I don't do stupid and <laughs> something stupid I will be able to take care of this game because it is kind of win situation right now All I just need to do is focus on him and don't make him like, I don't know, don't use cards that much Or if, if he uses it I need to counter them And this card is like, it is very good that destroys a any minion damage by this minion. You, you need to have this card for real. It is like when it is like it just dies, but the minion that has been attacked by this is just yeah, dies. Yeah, if I can show it to you right now, I will. I will need to eliminate the town in order to. You can need you know there is a town thing that you need to attack. Oh my god! It is like he is going to take out my town. Really. Damn, I am not going to show you that easily then. See, as you can see, it is going to kill it, but <laughs> it shouldn't happen like that, though. But basically, I am just trying to add the inbilla because I know how to play. I don't, I don't, I played lots of shamans, and if there is still cards, it he can like give taunt and bloodlust, like make them attack it at that turn. So it, I guess it is easy to do it, but. If there is not town, see, like this. If you if your attack is totally that able to kill him, you just go for the hero. And in order to show you that, I am going to kill that. As you can see, it is four, but the, it makes makes it kid die. So, like that. It is a good kill. Yeah, I hope you like it. And this is very good. I mean, the game is very good, very peaceful. That makes you feel better. 
as you can play the play game like maximum in 15 20 minutes so I mean you don't need to worry about anything while you are playing and it is a very good game that makes you feel relaxed and I just wanted to show the how 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 a game that card based game that makes you good I don't know like because there is not much game that like it it is on the things that I know is Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon in real life Pokemon cards but as you can see the Blizzard made a good job about doing it and you can get extra experience and it is the thing is not just for the games you know the only for the meanings that you don't need to challenge anything like okay you can go for rank but and the main problem is the rank when you when you lose it you just lose one star and when you win it like a win string bonus like you are going to getting more stars and more stars that the thing is like is trying to make you play much more good uh, but if you are saying that I am very bad at card games I need to learn some s uh, strategy there is a casual option that you don't it is just for fun I mean this is it can be for like ranked and then just for fun that you like for example you just go to and check to uh, check your quest log that you have like shaman or warlock and I can play in both of them because I my favorite hero is paladin in world of warcraft so I didn't want to make it like that and you know I got a shammy I was trying a bit shammy because I love troll <laughs> and as you can see there are other things like the UN when they start they are like one level but you make them go to 10 and each level they give you two additional cards and still when you play with them like as you can see there's a next reward at 20, 20, uh, 34 it is like golden hammer of red it is just makes your card golden because it's, it is like that it shows you how good you play or something like that that your level because it, it is kinda hard let's open some packs you we will see let me show you how to open packs you know in shop that you can buy with real money but I did it because I want them I want to support them but it is your choice let's see like it says that I enter the amount of number that you want to play I have like eight I can buy eight of them let's buy five and yeah buy then we are to open it we are going to put the decks here and it is going to be five random cards oh my god it's so good you know this card is so good that's very good then you are going to open again and again like if you are very good i don't know like doing guess thing but it is very good the card is very risky you know that I uh, you could play it but I don't be a fan of it because it, it when it is needing needed it could like deal like one damage too so it could be a good if you get a stable thing but if you think like you are good you have big numbers like that you should play that but good big numbers of the mana crystal because you you deal damage for that mana crystal so it needs to be high in order to be good so it is not bad it is easily you are going to have one rare in each desk desk deck yeah each deck when you are opening it like each pack I don't know it will be like one rare guaranteed and you can have like another second one and it is good that we got a some walker that good for paladins is really good and for hunter and shaman it is like all the classes but let me show you my deck and you will see it, my collection as you can see, I have two paladins one, it is like beta paladin, it is like the first that I was playing and it is all about surviving, for this one it is all about surviving like it gives 3 damage, I take a, I draw a card every time the minion attacks and hand of protection, lots of hand of protection like 2 of them and repetence it is when they play it, they reduce to 1 equality makes everyone 1 and by the way you can use equality and consecration together it makes all the minions 1 even yours but when you use the consecration you deal 2 damage to all enemies so you just one shot them instantly if you have 6 mana crystal you can one shot, one shot them easily and you can search some tactics on internet but I, do, I am not a huge fan of it I think you should play and learn it and you will be much more better the next time and for the beta paladin deck I am just full of surviving oops I just deleted something but <laughs> I don't know what and I really don't care that much because I am not playing 
that that's right that the deck right now but I think I am going to have the Avenging Grunt in my red in my other paladin as you can see it is like 0 1 7 and I think if you keep the 7 much more higher maybe it could be much more better mm, but not that much like in, you need to be balanced so change enemy minion to attack 1 it is a very good card too let's take it maybe I can play with that but for the for the paladin deck I made it is like the same at the start as you can see it is 7 the first is 7 as the same and uh, 7 is 2 and this is like 6 of the 4 and 5 as you, I don't know I cannot make you see it that way but it is good the, this deck is like charge or that I mean because I can summon lots of things with one turn I can summon 4 things in one turn like with the silver hand it is it works a lot it is like a 5 crystal thing that it is 6 to 6 and it is very good and you can change the humiliation but I have the noble sacrifice that it works really a lot and maybe you could get this one and I am going to take the avenging rat right now because I think it is the best mm, let's see how and what I am going to do this this frost elemental is very good that frees the character it makes me survive and we will see I mean I can get rid of some it is always two kinda Maybe I can get rid of some discount because it is useless, but it is one. Let's see. We can see it on the next turn. But as you can see, this is the golden card. It what this is what it gives. You know, the main need the card is like that. But when you level up, level up, level up, it makes it go golden, like look cooler. It is very good. So thanks guy. Thanks guys. I was uh, I, I done wait 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 before calling it. There is something I need to show to you, like, there is a crafting mode in the card that you can craft, but it is like, you know, you disenchant this card for 5, but if you need to build it, you are going to build for 40. And there are some really good cards that, because that I don't have the old cards, it is hard to have them all, I guess, or I am too unlucky in order to get anything, but it is lots of cards, there are lots of cards, and you can craft them, like, Let's click on it and it takes too much because it is a legendary hero that it is the uh, one of the tower and chieftains and you I have this one really but why it is like I don't have it let's get off from the crafting mode I have that wait 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 why oh my god I don't have it oh my god oh my god oh my god It's strange. I. You should have that in the desk. Like, because it is it is like that. I bought things to do that, but never mind. It is not a big deal. So there is lots of cards like twelve. But how do you say that? How am I going to summon it? If I have ten, as you can see, it costs one less for each card in your hand. And it is like cause one damage is taken, you can just summon and it is very good cards. And the card that I like is Deathwing. It kills all other minions and discard your hand. I mean it is perfect. And Uriasa, it is like dream card. You are taking one dream card. This is like nothing like them. You need to see that. I was able to get one in the arena. It is very good. And Nozdramo. It is very good just makes you think harder and Ragnaros as usual the best kinda but it is like instead of dealing 8 damage it cannot attack but it, it deals good amount of damage so thanks for watching guys I hope you like it and see you in the